A lot of counties became stars on election night. Allegheny, Maricopa, Fulton. But did you hear about the actual star county? It's in Texas, on the border, 95% Hispanic. Average income in star county, 15,000 a year. Hillary Clinton won it in 2016 by 60 points. Biden won it by five. That's a 55 point swing towards President Trump in one election cycle. Further, there are 28 counties along the Texas border. Usually, they're reliably blue places. Clinton won 22 of them. This election, a huge red shift. Biden won only 14, meaning Trump flipped eight of them. Pollsters and Democrats left scratching their heads. We asked our friends at Telemundo 40 in McAllen, Texas, in that area, to find out why. Here's their reporter, Antonio Rodriguez. Zapata is a small town about 45 miles south of Laredo. On election day, Republicans here won big. I think for the first time in 100 years is what I believe that uh, Zapata County uh, turned Republican. Trump beat Biden by about five points in Zapata County, a big win because Clinton beat him by more than 30 points in 2016. County Judge Joseph Rathmel explains what prompted the sudden shift. Yeah, many residents felt uh, threatened uh, with their livelihoods so over some of the comments that were made during the campaign about the oil and gas industry and led them to, to, ch uh, to, to change their votes and change their parties. Rathmill says people in Zapata think Biden's pledge to transition away from the oil industry is radical, a transition Trump says will destroy the industry. That's what the people think. That's what they were led to believe by Trump support. Mm -hmm. Jorge Montes is chair to the Democratic Party in Zapata County. He says President Trump's success here was definitely a surprise many were not expecting. Yes, I really was surprised. Uh, I didn't think that we had that many uh, Republican voters in the county. The county is known for its natural gas resources, an industry heavily impacted by the struggling economy during COVID. We were affected by a large percentage of our salaries being cut because of the coronavirus. Anna Holcomb has lived here since age 10. She's retired now, but a big part of her family works for the oil industry. She feels she made the right conservative choice in voting for Trump. I believe that the Democratic Party no longer represents the conservative values. I was at the polls at the county courthouse and I did my own polling and asked folks, who did you vote for? And from different, from young to old, they told me they voted for Donald Trump. In Star County, Trump increased his vote to 47% from 19% in 2016. He received more than 8,000 votes this time around, but still falls short to turning it red. It almost happened here too. Imagine the possibilities of getting more people, those folks who didn't vote, because we have a whole bunch that didn't vote. That could have made Star County a red county as well. And there is no official Republican Party in Zapata County, but President Trump supporters there say they'll be working on that for upcoming elections. Shep. And Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.